terrified. I'm tired and stressed out. I'm a little stressed. I'm a little nervous. Um, nervous? Nervous. Yeah, totally relaxed. I did wear my lucky t-shirt, so that's key. I'm really pumped. Nowhere I'd rather be right now. It's hard to say that was the same place. Once lectures were done and review was done and you have like two weeks to just do whatever you want to do and I pretty much cried and threw up. Freakouts, that's a regular occurrence. Quite a few. Yeah, quite a few panic attacks uh, throughout the process. My freakouts are just quieter, probably more internal. I got in bed at 8. I fell asleep at sometime after 12. <laughs> I couldn't sleep at all. Got up at 6 o'clock, which I never do. You never get up. Law students don't even get up at 6 o'clock. I mean, this is absurd. This is wrong. It meant anxiety. I just decided to uh, stay up the night, two nights before, and then uh, sleep extra the night. Uh, so I got up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So how much sleep you got? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Confidential. Yeah, all right. It was a long day. Long day. Very long. They kind of come inside with the bag, but take the test, go back outside, they write stuff down, and kind of put it in their pocket and come back inside. Have you seen people try to cheat? Yes. More than one thing. What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen in a bar exam? Person come in with alcohol. Yeah. Kind of bring alcohol into the exam. Well, like a fifth of Jack Daniels or something? No, oh, not a fifth, but it was like a pint. It's like one of those movies from like Berlin in 1930, like when the Nazis are like going to the Olympics or whatever. Everyone's just like in straight lines, it's weird. It's crowded, people are nervous, people are fizzy in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, looking around in a room that's like an airplane hangar, uh, it's not, not fun. The room is super cold. I'm dressed like this in summer and I was cold. Tomorrow I'm wearing a jacket, maybe some gloves. Big room with red walls, like in The Shining. I do not have a job waiting for me, but neither do any of my friends, so it's fine. No, not yet. I have a job waiting for me. I don't have it, but it's waiting somewhere. I just hope I get a job, you know? <laughs> no, I do not have a job. I do have a job. Great, where are you yeah. going to work? London Fisher. I'm going to work at Decker. Uh, working for the federal government. Who so, are you going to work for? Uh, the Internal Revenue Service, Office of Chief Counsel. I'm actually opening up my own firm, and I'm announcing my bid for New York City Council next week. It was a wonderful decision. Um, I always wanted to be a lawyer ever since I was a little kid. I used to watch LA Law and want to be Susan Day. I'm still debating with that. I'm still not sure, yeah. I'm still debating. Yeah, well, do over again. That's a, so that's a really so that's a really interesting question. I'll let you know in a few months. When you when you learn if you pass? When I learn if I pass and when I learn if I have a job. So I'll let you know then. Ooh. It was, but just barely. Just barely. Knowing what I know now, it would have been a much tougher choice. Very, very good, very good. I think that um, I'm going to uh, benefit from this. You know, you know the hard economy. You know, you got to get out there, you know, find a job, and I'll be, I'll be very happy. I've wanted to do it since um, high school. For me, it was the right decision. It's what I wanted to do um, beforehand, and for a long time before, it was in hard times for you know the job market or whatever. It was the most amazing decision I could have ever made, and, and, and I think it was because uh, Professor Roy told me I couldn't do it. Next question, please. <laughs> <laughs>